I need a new uniform. So when I made these shirts, <laughs> look at that one. When I made these shirts, I had made a uh, screen print out of some old pantyhose. And I did this like brush on screen print thing and it worked okay, it was a little messy. Advanced Maker and I made some t-shirts, we made stamps, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, I wanted to try another technique that might even be cheaper and easier to make your own t-shirts using nothing but packing tape and cereal boxes. So let's try that out. First things first, we'll put these in the rag drawer. Got cereal boxes. Oh, that's a pizza box, that's not gonna work. My father-in-law is pretty good at drawing. I had him draw my truck. Like my old shirt, I did a yellow background on a dark shirt, and I'm gonna do that again. This circle seems about the right size. And now I'll just use my old t-shirt here. My original thought was to tape this drawing to a cereal box, but I was afraid the cereal box would be too thick, and I thought maybe just two layers of tape would be just right. But then I thought that was a little thin, so I added a third layer. You can't have any individual pieces. Everything has to be attached. Otherwise, you have a multi-part stencil, it'd be very difficult to put it all down and line it up. So I have to try and create this drawing without ever disconnecting anything that I want to have in there. Like, so I'll cut the letters out solid, maybe I'll cut that square out solid. Now we need some more cereal boxes. Cereal boxes are one of my favorite things to reuse and repurpose. They make great cardboard for all sorts of applications. I just have a stamp with my information. I cut the business card shapes out of cereal boxes and free business cards. The stamp cost me about 15 bucks and I've probably stamped a few thousand business cards over the years. This will just help me keep the ink off the t-shirt while I'm doing it. Shirt's nice and flat. Get our stencil lined up. Put a little weight on it. Kind of keep it still. Not too much ink, but enough. Roll in one direction. Let's see what that looks like. Carefully. Nice. That's cool. That's the, the lettering on this. I mean, obviously, you can't really read it unless you know who I am which I expected doing, trying to do letters that small, but it looks like the truck, which was what I wanted. I just hang this on the truck. So after about six or seven of them, the, uh, the lettering really started to fall apart, which we expected, but I was making 10 shirts all together, and uh, I'm actually pretty happy with the way they turned out. This is the last one. I think they capture the look I was going for, even though you can't read them, which is fine, because I know who I am. What will be really interesting to see is how these age, which we'll see in subsequent videos, because I'll be wearing them in my shop. I'm going to take some abuse here. It's the next day. I grabbed a t-shirt out of my drawer at home. Did the spray painted circle, I taped over the logo on my stencil, printed the stencil again. Now I have this stencil that I made like a million years ago, as you can see it's well used. My logo, and I'm going to try to put that right here. Three color print now. How many guys do you know doing that in their garage? Alright, that's a little too much ink there, but that looks great. This is going to be the shirt that I make for sale. I'll make a new stencil with my font there, that's a little cleaner, 
and we'll do a three color. I like it. Well, I think it came out pretty cool. Um, I've washed this one a few times now. It seems to be holding up pretty good. And I like how the spray paint feels a little bit like sandpaper, but I do know from experience that that'll soften up over time. I've spray painted shirts before. Uh, I'm going to put these available for sale in my web store, which is at timsway.net. And just click on the button that says store. I just revamped my website, so it's not as embarrassing now. And um, I'm going to do like a pre-order thing, so I'm going to wait until a few orders come in to make a big batch and ship them out. If you want one, go ahead and uh, check that out there. It would really help support my channel a lot. I'd really appreciate it. You can also support my channel on Patreon, like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff, too. So uh, go get yourself a, a three-color yellow truck t-shirt, and uh, I'll make it for you. Hey, thank you so much for watching and sticking around and enjoying all this stuff, and be good.